Welcome to the shop this morning. We are trying to get the flooring in. We have one hour to get our peel and stick tile in before we open. And then we will do a brief little shop tour to show you what we've been doing around here. All right, so where did you get this tile from? Um, I ordered this tile at Lowe's and it's peel and stick because we don't have a lot of space so we can't lay a traditional tile and it looks like penny tiles. Also, we're probably changing this entryway soon. This door's not gonna make it. We've got some double doors that Jamie purchased and we're excited to put those in, but we gotta cover the cement before we do that. To get started, you want a clean floor, and if it's never been painted or primed, you do need to prime it. This already had paint and primer on it, so we went with it. Initially, we thought we might use the grid system from before, but we wanted to line it up to make it nice and straight where the threshold is gonna be, so that's where we got started, and we just went from there. It's always good to start in the middle, so that way you have even cuts all the way around the edge. I'll show you a little later. This tile actually did not line up with its own pattern. And then here, you can see Jamie and I discussing, we realized at this point, we don't have enough of these peel and stick tiles. I'm measuring, I got about a six foot wingspan, so instead of getting a tape measure, I'm just guesstimating. It's about a 10 by six and a half, seven foot room, and we have 40 square feet of tile. So because we didn't have enough tile, we decided to go front to back, so that way people wouldn't kick it up and leave the sides open where people aren't really stepping. I ordered two more boxes, and as soon as we get back from the hunt, we'll get those sides put in. So it feels like kind of a tile fail, at least on our part, because this is gonna be like this for probably a week and a half, but we'll get, we'll get it fixed, it'll get sorted out, and you know, does it look good all at once? No, but we'll get it figured out. This little bit of peel and stick tile looks a whole lot better than the painted red cement. to cut and go up underneath the threshold because we want the tile to at least be on the entryway so it doesn't get stepped on and walked on and, and weird things happen. So I always, instead of measuring, I like to just place my tiles where I'm going to need them and then I cut. You could probably measure and be just as accurate, but it's easier for me to just see where I need to make the cuts and go. This threshold, if you're looking at it here, it looks kind of crooked and crazy and that's because it is and it's not actually screwed down. You're going to see in a minute, I tried to unscrew it and put these under there because that would have been much easier than having to force them up under, but it is it is what it is. We're going to have to replace this whole thing. The screw is actually stuck in here, so I can't get it out. And once we redo the new doors, this is all getting changed and ripped out anyway, so I'll deal with it at that point. That's a couple weeks down the road. just looks like a tile rug. I'm going out today later after this video and getting a threshold so nobody peels it up on the end and then we'll get it finished and it'll look great much better than the cement before. We know you guys have kind of been waiting for a shop tour, so we're going to give you a mini shop tour and show you what we've done thus far. We will have a full video once it all gets finished later. This church renovation project is a huge dream come true for us, and we just want to say thank you to everybody who has helped make this possible, and to you guys for watching us and supporting us all of these years. If you want to shop anything that you saw here today, or if you need paint and products, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.